How much body fat can I lose in 12 weeks? I'm going to be showing you everything that I'm going to be doing and applying to my 12 week fat loss and gain journey. Okay, let's not waste any time and get into it. So first things first, we're going to be talking about nutrition. And what I mean by nutrition is properly feeling our bodies, fueling our bodies with a lower toxic and high quality nutrient dense foods. Since I've been doing this for quite some time now, my husband and I, um, we've kind of found a good baseline for how to maintain. However, wanna take this a step further and try to get a little more lean, apply step one, which will be tracking where I'm at currently to see where I can decrease slowly over time. Next, I'll have my macros set up and they are at 150 or 140 to 150 grams of protein and then my carbs for the first two weeks will be at 110 and so will my fats. So I will be roughly around the 21 to 2300 calories within the first two weeks and then over time I will decrease. I will only really decrease in the fats or the carbs slightly. I won't really touch my protein too much just because I want it to be um, around that range as I weigh 141 pounds. My main focus will be eating things like meat, um, beef preferably, and uh, beef organs. And then I will also be incorporating my carbs such as fresh fruits, honey, maple syrup, um, raw dairy if I can get it, and then whole milk dairy if I can't. And then I will be doing um, some potatoes. I'll only do sweet potatoes, yams, or organic yellow potatoes. Well, all three of those would be organic. Um, and then for fats, I would be doing animal fats. I would do uh, beef tallow, I would do grass-fed butter, um, and just things that are already in my food that are fat. And so I'll be sure to check, track all of that just to make sure um, we're hitting those macros. For an example, I will show you in the next few clips on what I will be eating for a day in the first two weeks. Um, and then I will change out like meals and whatnot, but just to give you an example, um, here is a full day of eating. This is the first meal of the day. We got 10 ounces of New York strip and I will show you what else I will eat. I was just talking about how I like my steak in this clip. However, a little bit after this time frame, I usually would incorporate or add two hard boiled eggs and some cheese just so I can fill the gap on my calories. This is the yogurt that I'm having. This is 130 grams of the, I think, European style yogurt. And then I did do a banana, in total of 80 grams of that banana. This is our last meal of the day. We have some prime rib and mashed potatoes. Looks delicious. And I made a tiny bit of au jus, so I'll just use that for dipping. Um, currently, I still feel very energized. Obviously, I'm eating good food and feeling myself pretty well. Um, so that's awesome. As far as body composition goes, I will be doing a more thorough test, I think, over the weekend. Um, and that I'll find out what my body fat percentage is, um, just what my muscle mass is, all those numbers. And I will share that with you in an upcoming video so you can know kind of where I'm starting out and then how much we improve, basically. Um, but I am, I do weigh 141 pounds um, and I am about 5'7", for a reference. On top of that test, I will be making sure to keep track of different things, like I'll have photos, I'll have, you know, obviously look at the scale, but that's not, that's not gonna be my end all be all. And then I will also um, take measurements, like, you know, like the bicep, waist, all that stuff, and then I will basically look at it later on and see how we're doing. Um, I do like to do like a variety just to make sure you get like a full picture instead of just looking at the scale. Um, just cause you know, your body can look a certain way and change, but still stay, stay around the same weight. Um, and then I will do a later video on exactly where I'm at with my lifts and fill you in there, but I will be doing cardio. Our cardio will be two-ish times a week and we'll be going into the pool and doing laps. Um, I started out by doing four laps down and back, and that was my first day. And then I will uh, increase over time or uh, decrease breaks in between the laps, whatever that may be, just to intensify the cardio. 
stay tuned to see how much fat I can lose over the next 12 weeks. I am excited and ready for this change. All right, it's now time to work out, so let's go to the gym. It is back day. Oh, makes this workout even better. We love hitting back, as we already know. Well, let's get into the workout. We're doing 8 to 12 reps here, and about everything's 4 to 5 reps. Sorry, sets. And yeah, this was a good back day. It was a good staple. Um, honestly, all the workouts I do are pretty much staples as we need to be doing the same exercises every time and regularly over them to do that progress. It is not all about just doing the next new thing. Um, so, consistency is key. Um, if you're gonna pick a few workouts to experiment with, go for it. But always have your sleep exercises to build off. Oh, exciting news. My gym got some new, I think, mag grips type of deal. Um, so they're gonna make back day so much better. Um, I think we noticed them the day after we did this, like, this back day or something like that. And, oh, so good. I love those grips. The ones that are like, oh, so good. So definitely excited to try that in the upcoming workouts. Didn't think I could love back day more, but you give me those grips and I can. <laughs> anyway, got some seated rows here on the cable machine. And again, yeah, four to five reps, oh, sets, and then we are doing each 12 rep range still. And of course, once I got heavy, I threw on my straps. I do try to test my grip strength in the beginning, one to two sets. And then once it gets heavier, I really wanna, you know, push my back. Or pull my back and um you know just really develop those muscles at a higher weight and i have to put on some wrist straps for that and so be it it is always a trick though trying to get my left hand to wrap around nicely with the straps we'll get it someday and then moved on to the lat pull downs a favorite specific favorite on my on back day something you know special about a good old lap pull down that I will just always love. All right, now we got some back extensions. Obviously with the normal, just traditional back bias, not the glute bias. Both are great ways to do the exercise, just depends on if you're doing back day or leg day. Both will essentially hit both glutes and the lower back and a little bit of hamstrings. It's just, if you do it a certain way, it'll make it more of a bias to glutes or lower back. All right, you guys already know what my favorite body part to work out is. Um, so let me know what's yours in, in the comment section and I'd love to hear about it.
Thanks so much for following along and coming along with this 12-week journey. Um, I look forward to the next video. Bye.